Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who The Collection Complete Season Box Set Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the final season of Fourth Doctor Adventures starring Tom Baker, which did of course originally air on the BBC between 1980 and 1981. Now season 18 is in fact a rather pivotal season in Doctor Who history, simply because it sees the departure of Tom Baker after seven years in the role, as well as lots of changes on screen with a brand new companion as as a brand new theme tune, but also a lot of changes in the production of the actual series itself with a brand new executive producer coming on board with John Nathan Turner. Now this season is in fact a little bit of a Marmite series, you normally either like it or hate it, simply because of the sheer difference in direction compared to that of the previous Fourth Doctor series. However, regardless of the actual content itself, once again the actual product is something of which that is incredibly visually stunning. Once again we have Lean Binding returned to create the lovely visual designs for this product, and as per usual the design itself is consistent to the previous releases within this series. Now this product is currently available to order from a number of different online retailers including Zoom and Amazon. I do believe the recommended retail was originally something around £56. However, I never in fact seen it on sale for that price. The norm price at the minute is around £38. However, if you are a fan or a collector of this series, you will of course note that it is very important to purchase these products before they sell out because once they have sold out, they do seem to be sold out for good and box sets such as Season 12, the first box set a part of this series, now does of course fetch incredibly insane amounts on eBay, around £300. So basically, buy these products when they are released in order to avoid disappointment, and more importantly, avoid that rather distracting and off-putting gap within your Doctor Who archive of Blu-ray releases. Now this product did in fact originally come out, I do believe in early 2019, around March and April time. However, due to other commitments, mainly university studies for me, I've not in fact been able to get around to review this release up until now, because of course in order to review it, I've needed to actually watch all the special features in order to review it properly. So of course that does mean that in a number of weeks time we do have the next release coming out as a part of this series, which I think is John Pertwee's Season 10, so do of course stay tuned for that review whenever it occurs, hopefully a little bit closer to the actual release of the product itself. So as I was saying earlier, once again we have a rather lovely looking design and something of which that certainly looks incredibly high quality. We have the slip cover over the front and the actual box itself along with the blue rays content on the inside, which I will of course be taking a look at in more detail throughout this review. So starting off at the very bottom of the product itself, as per usual we have the cardboard slipcase which does of course have all the technical information on about the actual discs, and we do also have at the very front the Doctor Who logo which is the new series 13th Doctor logo that has been given a rather nice purple glow, and then towards the bottom of this we get the title of the product being the collection along with season 18, and this product has of course been given a 12 rating, I do believe due to the Logopolis disc, and then we also have that this is a disc set. Flipping around to the back of the product itself, we get further details about the actual release itself, along with all the special features that actually come on this product, so I highly recommend actually keeping this. I suppose if you're a collector, no doubt you will keep it anyway, but it does have a lot of useful information on that has been displayed once again in a rather nice layout, consistent to the previous releases in this series. At the top of this we do of course once again get the title of the product along with the slogan underneath that states continue your Doctor Who archive with this ultimate collector's set and it is really nice to see that, that slogan is now actually taking some form of reality because now we are of course onto our third volume of this series along with a further two releases on the way being season 10 and of course Colin Baker Trava Time Lord later this year as well. Just below this we see the fourth Doctor's classic final season all 28 episodes plus the one-off special K9 and Company, all newly restored for the Blu-ray and packed with bonus material. And then just below this we get all the titles of the episodes, being The Leisure Hive, Megalos, Full Circle, State of Decay, Warrior's Gate, The Keeper of Traken, and Legopolis. 
Moving down from this, we get the brand new special features section, which as the title suggests, states all the brand new special features that are found on this release, which are in fact different from the original to entertain DVDs. So if you got those releases originally, essentially these are all the features that you are buying this release for, along with being able to actually have the brand new limited edition packaging in your collection. So as you can see, there's lots of different features that have been added, which I will be taking a look at in more detail in a little bit. Just below this it does also state that the original features are also available on this release along with that this season's stars Tom Baker, Leila Ward, Matthew Waterhouse, Sarah Sutton and Janet Fielding. And then of course just to finish off no Blu-ray disc will be complete without your normal and usual technical and region information. This release is in fact feature length and runs at a astonishing 680 minutes approx. And of course we have some further format information there that does also continue on to the bottom as well. To be consistent with the previous releases in this series, of course, as per usual, the slipcase is removed to reveal a rather lovely and beautiful looking, nice minimal cover art underneath. And at this point in the review, I would just like to say, Lee Binding, I once again salute you, sir, because it is it must be an amazing feeling to actually think that a brand new wave of Doctor Who fans are potentially buying these releases to experience classic series Doctor Who for the first ever time. And this rather beautiful looking cover art is no doubt going to be the first thing that they think of when they think of classic series Doctor Who, much like how people who grew up with the Target novels were very much a fan of the cover artwork of that era, and that was very much Doctor Who for them. This is kind of the 21st century equivalent to that. And once again, the artwork on this release is not only consistent to that of the previous box sets that have came out, as well as the upcoming releases but it's also really visually stunning and unique for the actual season itself and I love the way that each box set does differ between the different costume variations and it's just what is generally not to like about these box sets I love how stylish they are I love the lack in text it is almost very much like the benefits and privileges of having a steel book but in a much more nicer presentation format so zooming in on the cover now to take a look at it in more detail, I do love the way that we have almost the further expanse of space creeping onto these covers because originally with the season 12 release it was just very much almost a rather grey background with a few hints of the vortex in there. However on the season 19 release as well as this version we now have a lot more vibrant colours creeping around the sides and the background of the Doctor himself which is a really lovely touch so we get some purples and pinks around the side there and then almost this blue coming around around to the side as well and what I do also really love is we have some actual hints of the theme tune itself a rather lovely looking 80s lens flare which was of course brand new for this era of the show and then we get the rather wonderful and unique Tom Baker there at the very front as well with his amazing curls and of course a slightly more aged Tom compared to that of the season 12 release very much to reflect the fact that he's now been in the role as the Doctor for a whole seven years since the season 12 box set. Moving down down, we do of course have lovely exposure and presentation to that of the season 18 June Hudson costume which is gorgeous I love it I love the colors I love the burgundies and the reds it's something of which that some people don't like as much I must admit it's sometimes people's least favorite version of the fourth doctor costume however I really like it simply because I quite like burgundy as an actual color I think it no doubt is of course as we move towards the bottom of the box set itself we get the lovely inclusion of various amounts of alien and monsters and villains that can of course be seen throughout season 18 and its different stories. This section does of course include Anthony Ainley as the Master, a Formasi from the Leisure Hive, the Melkert from the Keeper of Traken, a Marshman from Full Circle, and in the very centre we do of course also get the Watcher there from Legopolis as well. I'm kind of glad that Megalos is nowhere to be seen because he's not necessarily the most visually pleasing monster Doctor Who has ever seen. And tilting season 18 around to the spine, once again we have exactly the same design to usual where you have the Blu-ray logo at the very top, a smaller version of the cover, the Doctor Who logo on his side along with the season 18 band there at the very bottom. And the lovely novelty of this is if you have the previous releases, you can now line them up in an actual order, which is lovely. And it just amazes me that one day we could potentially 
potentially have in a very lucky future indeed all 26 of these in a row together and they say that money cannot buy happiness however it can buy complete season doctor who box sets and quite frankly that seems to be the same thing because as you can see all the box sets next to each other look absolutely stunning and really satisfying and I really do love them and I can't wait for this line to expand more and more over the coming years. Tilting season 18 now around to the back is a really lovely pleasant surprise to see that the design continues onto the back of the product because of course on the original season 12 box set this was just simply the TARDIS on the cover. This time round we have a continuation of the theme tune and the time tunnel with this rather lovely star field. However we have the main section in the very middle which does of course feature the actual warrior's gate from the episode with the same title with of course Romana and K9 and of course a lovely graphic of the TARDIS. Now once again I really do love these features because they make each individual season box set feel very unique in their design taking one feature from the actual season and making it a very key part of the actual design itself and once again a massive piece of appreciation and credit for Jonathan Pickard who creates the actual 3D models of the TARDISes to go on these boxes as well as on the inside as well they look incredibly visually pleasing and for those of you that are a fan of TARDIS boxes throughout the years these box sets are once again very much for you. And now opening up the box itself to take a look on the inside, once again exactly the same format to usual, however of course this one is a little bit more interesting to usual, of course on the previous release of season 19 we have the 5th Doctor coming from the TARDIS with his rather unusual Fort of Doomsday helmet on, once again they've took a little bit more design influence on this box set and done a really lovely cover relating to that of the Leisure Hive, so usually we do of course have the TARDIS exterior box on the front here which does a of course have a few chalk emblems on that the Doctor has written on, however the actual surround itself is the rather vibrant and almost cling film and tinfoil style setting of that of the main control room from the Leisure Hive. The actual image itself does seem to be incredibly high quality and I just think the actual design itself is vibrant and eye catching and once again it just makes this box set look even more unique. Having these little touches such as the writing around the sides is something that is not necessarily needed but it just makes the product feel a little bit more like it's for the fans and the actual fans themselves are kind of the people who've created these box sets because everybody who works on the special features aren't just working for a company but they are also actual Doctor Who fans that are genuinely interested and passionate about the series itself and I think that these products really nicely represent that. Now of course on the previous releases one of the main complaints was the way that the discs were actually held, some of which were actually stuck a little bit too far towards the end, meaning that it was very difficult to actually get the discs out. Now for me this time round I have of course been rather lucky because mine seems to be very easy to use, having all the discs in there, and then of course if you take out the very last disc at the very back, you have an image of the fourth Doctor from the opening intro with the Starfield surrounds around the side which once again is a really lovely design touch and consistent once again to the previous box sets in this series. Of course the inside section of the lid does once again open up by using this little velcro hatch to reveal a really lovely piece of promotional art once again that I'll be taking a look at in further detail in a bit. And then moving this up further we do of course have a booklet however also a really nice graphic of the TARDIS console room from the series as well as a TARDIS within the TARDIS to of course reflect that scene from part one of Legopolis where it's really nicely presented it feels incredibly high quality and of course the booklet itself itself does contain all the helpful information that you do of course need for this season and it's very nice to actually read this while taking a look at those special features and watching the stories so we get a rather visually stunning piece of artwork on the front with the doctor in what I see is the cloister room I think from Legopolis once again really nicely sporting the season 18 costume designed by June Hudson and then of course taking a look on the inside we get another further really nice image of Tom Baker with it's the end and the moment has been prepared for which I do believe this has all been written by Pete McTie who did of course also write at Kablam in series 11. Of course on one side of the page you get a few of the special features listed as well as the actual title of the episode stating that it is four episodes long story code 5n when it was originally broadcast on the BBC who was written by the producer and the director along with a few images as well as the special features on this side and then on the opposite side we once again have your usual bits of information including the development of the story 
story, the actual recording itself, and then we move on to the next page where we have some further information about the reception and the after image, which is supported by additional images from the actual episode itself. The same does apply for Megalos on there with slightly less special features, and as per usual, we have this really lovely art that has been used, really nicely blending the stories together and representing them, really nice and high quality and unique artwork as well, only seen on these releases, really nicely padding out the actual book. There is in fact a rather high quality piece of paper as well. Moving on to full circle, special features on one side, nice image of the Marshman, or text as per usual. Then we have the State of Decay, one of my personal favourite stories of the season. And then we have this really lovely graphic there, Romana, with the tower from the story, really nicely gothic and vampiric in its design with that blood splatter around the edges as well. Possibly one of my favourite illustrations from this release. Warrior's Gate, some further illustrations, the Keeper of Traken as well, special features on one side and additional information on the other. Really lovely image of Nessa and the Melka. And then of course you move on to the final story of the season being Legopolis and then the bonus disc K9 and Company with a lovely graphic of Sarah Jane and K9. And then we also get some further information about the bonus materials that are also found on this disc as well relating to season 18. The booklet does also finish off with a few additional production credits for this actual product as well as the actual episodes and the creation of the special features and the physical product artwork, all of which are incredibly talented people and I thank them very much to actually bring these products to life really because without them these products certainly wouldn't exist, certainly within the quality that they are currently being produced in. So yeah, a massive thank you to them. I certainly recommend pausing and actually taking a look at who works on these releases because you will no doubt to actually recognise quite a lot of these people's names from not just new series Doctor Who but also external media such as Big Finish and the BBC books as well. Much like the previous season releases, once again each individual disc has received a little bit of a makeover in order for them to feel consistent. So this time around we have a little bit of a purple theme with of course the logo and the disc number there as well as the episode title at the very bottom. Seen on this disc we have the fourth doctor in the little circular mirror along with one of the residents of the leisure hive and then we of course have Megalos with Romana and of course Jacqueline Hill as the character from that story as well as one of the Megalos sort of incarnations from that episode. Next disc, which is of course full circle, we'll see the fourth Doctor and K9 lurking in a bush, which I do believe is a screen grab from the actual story. Next up we have once again a lovely model of Jonathan Picard's TARDISes, along with the fourth Doctor and Romana, a rather well used image from State of Decay, however one of which that is nice nevertheless. The next disc is of course the Warrior's Gate disc, we of course have one of the Tharons from the story, the spaceship, as well as the graphic of the TARDIS as seen on one of the monitors. Then we have the Keeper of Traken, where we have uh, one of the characters from the story that was of course possessed by the Melka, with of course the Melka statue there as well. And then of course finally for season 18 itself, we of course get the final story from the Fourth Doctor era, being of course Legopolis with the Fourth Doctor ominously looking over the TARDIS, with the TARDIS walls there in the background. And then the final bonus disc of course featuring K9 and company, we have Sarah Jane and K9 nicely taken taken from the promotional art used within that episode. And that is really it for the physical product itself. Overall, once again, I'm incredibly impressed with this release from the visually stunning and beautiful artwork by Lee Binding and Jonathan Pickard, as well as the actual physical product itself and how good in quality it does feel. I do certainly recommend picking this up physically if you do get the opportunity. However, now moving on to the second part of this review, to take a look at the actual content that you get on the discs themselves, and especially the extensive amount of special features that can be found on this release, be it from the original DVD releases or in fact new features entirely made exclusively for this release. Delving into the discs of Season 18, there is the usual combination of new content created for this release, as well as the old special features from the original to entertain DVD releases. The menu selection sequence is once again consistent with the previous season sets, with a 3D model of the TARDIS console room backdrop, which does also include the TARDIS exterior box within the TARDIS console room, of course referencing the scenes as seen within the early half of Legopolis, which is a really nice touch. All of the stories have your usual audio commentary, with updated commentary for the Leisure Hive and the State of Decay. 
The regular BBC continuity announcements, photo galleries, 5.1 surround sound, DVD trailers, PDF material, some isolated music scores, studio footage, TV archive material, trailers and studio clocks are also all included per each individual story on this set. The brilliant Behind the Sofa series also continues, starring Tom Baker, June Hudson, John Leeson, Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton and Wendy Padbury, viewing key parts from each individual story, which is once again a very funny watch. Each of the episodes also have the making of documentaries, interviewing the cast and crew from the story's production, offering great insight into how the stories were made and the process from script to screen. Episodes such as Megalos focusing on the writers John Flanagan and Andrew McCulloch and their aims from when writing the story made me respect the episode a little bit more compared to when I first experienced the story when watching it. Likewise for Warrior's Gate, going into detail about the visual effects that made the episode look visually rather unique were once again a rather interesting contribution and certainly made the episode a lot more intriguing. In particular, the making of Legopolis feature, having newly filmed 2019 segments, was also a standout watch and certainly one of the highlights of this release. Disc 1 features a documentary called Synthesising Starfields, going into detail on the production of the brand new 1980s theme tune, both visually and musically, with Sid Sutton and Peter Howell, also including clean versions of the brand new title sequence. The Leisure Hive also features a section with June Hudson discussing the costumes from the story. Disc 2, Meg Loss, also includes features on the then revolutionary visual effects technology of Scene Sync, which was experimented with throughout the production of this episode. There is also a tribute to Jacqueline Hill after her passing, and a brief BBC News report announcing Tom Baker's departure from the show later in the year. Full Circle special features on Disc 3 have a feature on K9's departure from the series and the newly produced A Weekend with Waterhouse presented by Toby Haddock, offering a glimpse into Matthew's life out of the series as well as his hobbies after he left the show, as well as a BBC News report announcing Peter Davison as the fifth Doctor. Disc 4, The State of Decay, focuses on vampire representation throughout the media, with Leaves of Blood presented by Nicholas Briggs delving into representation throughout literature and history. The Blood Show discussing science of blood, and finally the frailing reading. Also featured are film trims of the models used throughout the story, as well as the miniature film segments, as well as a BBC News report segment on the marriage between Tom Baker and Layla Ward, as well as the Pickwick audiobook for The State of Decay, read by Tom Baker in full. Warrior's Gate on Disc 5 features a documentary overview of Romana's wardrobe throughout the series, which is another great retrospective highlight great for fans of costume design. Also included are extended and deleted scenes, as well as the glorious Prime Computer adverts. The Keeper of Traken disc includes a featurette on Jeffrey Beavers and the production team discussing the return of the Master, which was an interesting watch covering Beavers' aims when playing the role. Disc 7 containing Logopolis has the optional updated effects that really added a 21st century twist to an 80s adventure of Doctor Who, a welcome inclusion that I thoroughly enjoyed, although I am aware that some people do prefer to watch the episodes as they were originally broadcast with the original 80s effects. The shrinking TARDIS visuals and the Logopolis settlement visuals were a particular highlight to me. Tomorrow's Times covers the media representation of the Fourth Doctor era and the reception of the critics at that time period. Stripped for Action is a featurette on the Fourth Doctor comics as well as the birth of Doctor Who Weekly. And finally, there is an interview with Tom Baker that was filmed in 2003. The bonus disc features K9 and Company, which also, to my surprise, also has an episode of Behind the Sofa, as well as an additional commentary option, as well as Brendan and Company, which is an interview with Ian Sear, BBC Christmas trailers, the K9 Files documentary discussing K9's legacy throughout the years of Doctor Who. Season 18 features on the disc also include the writer's room for season 18, which is a great 2019 feature, with the writer's 
discussing their contributions to the season, as well as the 50th anniversary 4th Doctor Revisited documentary, I do believe originally aired in the States, which I was once again quite shocked to see, as well as a 50th anniversary interview with Matthew Waterhouse, as well as the rather unusual New Zealand ad campaigns starring Tom Baker that I had never seen before, but were great in their own weird way. And finally, there is the Season 18 Blu-ray trailer that is also available to be viewed on the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. So overall, for Doctor Who The Collection, the complete Season 18 2019 Limited Edition Blu-ray box set, once again, I am absolutely blown away by this release. I think that this is essentially one of the most perfect ways to actually not only collect classic series Doctor Who, but also experience it at the same time. Of course, as I mentioned in the previous reviews, my previous physical format for the classic series of adventures was DVD files, and in those discs you physically got only one actual story. You got the episode itself and no special features at all. Meaning that for me, this product is probably a little bit more beneficial than some other fans because virtually every single special feature on this product, chances are I've not seen it before. Meaning that I've got hours upon hours worth of content that I can experience new for the first ever time, making it certainly worth my money and my purchase. And I was trying to think the other day of if I had the original 2010 BBC DVDs, would I like this product as much as I do already currently? And my honest opinion, I think, is yes, because the physical product itself almost makes up for the other special features I will be experiencing new for the first time compared to others that have already experienced them. It's a lovely product, it's incredibly streamlined, it's space saving on the shelf as well compared to having your singular DVD releases in their slipcase. Cases. And I just think that it looks something that you can display on your shelf that is instantly eye-catching, more so than just a standard DVD release. Of course there is a lot of passion and care that has been put into these products because they are physically produced by Doctor Who fans, and that is something of which that is so blindingly obvious about these releases. Every single special feature has an amazing amount of effort put into them, and there is literally hours upon hours to watch. And that is not even including the actual episodes themselves. And I think that is simply just brilliant. You have many different things relating to Doctor Who and even into expanded media. For example, the vampires from external media and how they are represented in other forms. The new documentaries such as A Weekend of Waterhouse and delving into Matthew Waterhouse's personal life. As well as other documentaries such as The Writer's Room offering really nice context on how they actually produce the series. Of course, as for the actual episodes themselves, this box set review hasn't been a review of the actual episodes, and it is fair to say that season 18 is a little bit of a Marmite one. Some people like it, some people hate it. In short, for me, I think there are some really lovely gems within this series, but also some pretty dull and absurd stories in there as well. I think not many people look back on too fondly and kind of just forget that they exist. But generally, for £30-odd pounds to £40, pounds or even 50, I actually think that this product is certainly worth trying to track down and add to your collection, and I'm just incredibly glad that when Season 12 was originally released, that I went to my local HMV and just impulsely bought it because it looked pretty, because if I didn't, and if I missed out on that product, I most likely wouldn't have continued and bought the other releases, simply because I would have known I would have had that horrible gap in my collection that I would have never been able to film. I do certainly recommend picking up this product if you have the money, and I also recommend picking up this product as soon as possible in order to avoid disappointment and it's selling out completely, because the previous Tom Baker release did of course sell out. So of course the next box sets in this series are from the Third Doctor era. We have Season 10 featuring episodes such as The Planet of the Dark and the Carnival of Monsters, as well as in September, rather excitingly, we have the release of Trial of the Time Lord with the one and only Sixth Doctor, portrayed by Colin Baker, which as you can imagine, I am incredibly excited for, and I cannot wait for that product to be released, to think that Colin is going to be right there in a few months' time. It's going to be really exciting. 
So thank you very much for watching this review of Doctor Who The Collection, the complete Season 18 box set. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this product, then please do leave them in the comments section below, and I will reply to them at some point in the near future. And as per usual, do stay tuned for more Doctor Who content every single week on The Host Productions. And on that note, I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.